Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how you can optimize dynamic pages in your bubble app to improve your SEO and get more traffic from Google search. When I say dynamic pages, what I mean is pages you've built once, but pages that display different data depending on what data you send to those pages. So for example, this is my categories page and it's going to display different data depending on which one of the buttons here I click on. So if I click on newly qualified, I get brought to the categories page and it displays data for newly qualified accounts and shops. It displays it up in the URL here, and display, it, ex, it shows it here in the text, and also shows jobs that are relevant to newly qualified accountants. If I were to click on one of the other categories, so for example, let's click on experience qualified, we're brought to the same page, but the URL is different, the text up here is different, and the jobs shown are also slightly different. And this is important for a couple of reasons. It does really tell Google what uh, exactly information is being shown on the page, which is a plus from an SEO perspective. But importantly, it means we don't have to go building separate pages every single time uh, for every new category that we add. It's okay for me at the moment with three, but if I were to add another 10, it gets quite manual in terms of updating those pages. We're gonna look at two things. First thing we're gonna look at is how to optimize the on-page SEO so we show data that is relevant to a specific search term. So I want to add another category. I want to add in part qualified account and jobs and I want that to be displayed here. And I'm just gonna show you the way I have my categories page set up. So it's, it's really obvious how easy it is just to add a new category. If you select the page, you'll see that I have a uh, category as a type of content and the page title is current page categories category. We'll come back to that in a second. But what you'll see is the two pieces of text I have on the page are again, relevant to that category. Uh, I have browse the latest parent groups category, which is one of the categories that I have inside here. And I also have the category title up here. So ex example, experience qualified accounts and jobs is one category. What is nice about this setup is it means that if I go back to my homepage, I can add in a new category really easily. So again, I'm gonna add in part qualified and I'm gonna deploy this to live. And I don't have to do any extra work. It's automatically going to update so that whenever I click on the pair qualified button, we're gonna be brought to this page again, but instead of saying experience qualified, it's gonna be pair qualified. So brought to this page, and again, this is dynamic. And again, I've previously done some setup that the jobs that have been shown are different depending on what um, parameters you put in for the data type. So that's a real positive. Uh, that's the on-page SEO. The other thing that I want to briefly touch on is three things actually show up in the Google search. Um, so if we look at per qualified account and job search term here in Google and we look at the results, I want to focus on this indeed result here. And there's three things that are really nice um, with this page. Number one is per qualified account and jobs is actually in the URL. If we open that up, you'll see the URL is indeed.com slash per qualified account and jobs, exactly what I put in the search box. Secondly, per qualified account and jobs is in the job page title, I should say. And then finally, per quality of account and jobs is in the description. So again, ideally with our categories, we'd like to get all this information in them so that if people are searching for per qualified account and jobs will show up, if people are searching for newly qualified accounts and jobs will show up and we don't have to do any extra work about it. So we can do that pretty easily. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is in your database, you'll want to have a slug for each one of these categories. If you have a slug and you set the type of data on the page, on the categories page, Bubble will automatically create a slug for you. So that's why when I click on Power Qualified Account and Jobs on the homepage, I'm brought to the URL with a nice clean URL as is. The next things we want to do is set the dynamic content in the page title and also in the page description. So if we look at my page title here, again, we have it as current page categories, category, and the categories are just to, to go back each one of these four terms here. So again, I've just implemented this recently, so it's not gonna show up on the first page at the moment, but if the page title is newly qualified accounting jobs, well, that's gonna be great for when people are searching for newly qualified accounting jobs Ireland. Similarly, in the page description, which we're just gonna to go to now, you'll see that this is also dynamic. So I have browse the latest and then current pages, categories, category. So just to be clear, the description is this section here. So we want newly qualified accounting jobs to show up here if possible. And again, we can do this dynamically using uh, the, the categories that I've set up. This is great because it means I can add in more categories each time to and, and get more SEO juice out of it without actually doing any extra work. So that's how I set up my dynamic pages to improve their SEO. I hope this has been helpful. 
if you would like more SEO tips for Bubble, please do subscribe.